Is this light harsher, do you think? I don't know. The glass on this one just completely shattered on me. Like, the bulb or the rest of it is unaffected, just the bulb is gone, so who knows. Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm setting up my new-to-me finished storage cabinet. I got this from my brother-in-law in return for some PC repair. Same one I did the so people could drive by when I'm not recording voiceovers, that would be great. Same one I did the shadow box for, actually. He got it from his work, they were getting rid of it since it took a tumble and took some damage. Nothing that a couple hits with a hammer couldn't fix, though. It doesn't need to be perfect, so I'm not worried. So after I spent some time taking out the dents, I sat it on the floor, and that's where it sat for over a year. Like, really, here's my unfinished keyboard tray and the components to my shutters. That's how long ago it was. Recently I posted a few videos installing insulation, OSB, and a new lumber and sheet good rack. During that time I also figured it was a good time to install this cabinet. So to give myself enough room to install it, I moved my current power tool racks over by about a foot. And in the process thought that I'd try jamming a Robertson bit into my thumb at full force. Ow. So a shop towel and some painter's tape later. Let's try this again without ripping chunks out of myself. I finished up moving my shelves over and adjust some of the boards on the lumber rack. What's this green thumb people keep talking about? I got a blue one. Now with that done, I dig the cabinet out from under the table and measure the height. To make installation easier, I install a temporary cleat up onto the wall to hold the cabinet while I screw it into the wall. And I just noticed that it's actually still there. I did intend for it to be temporary, but I ended up mounting a uh, power strip to it. So, eh. An idea I had to make this cabinet a little bit more useful was to turn the front of the doors into a tool wall type thing for some of my more accessed items since, as of right now, I don't have a whole lot of dedicated storage spaces. I measure the front of the cabinet and head over to my plywood rack to grab a scrap piece and rip it down to the size of the cabinet doors. So I'm just gonna say, this is the first time I've used my table saw since I gave it a light sanding and uh, I waxed the surface. So smooth, just so smooth. I don't know what the hell that was. Now with the door panels cut to size, off camera I cut these plywood backing slats. Then I apply some double sided tape to the tops and bottoms and stick them to the inside of the two doors. Now that I have some meat to screw the plywood panels into, I do just that from the back of the doors and trim the excess screw off the front with the angle grinder. Now it's time to turn my attention to the interior of the cabinet. Since this cabinet didn't come with any of the shelves I assume it would have come with, I bend out the supports with a screwdriver. Then I rip down some plywood at the table saw, trim to length on the miter saw, drop the shelves into place, and load in all of my assorted finishes. To make it easier to open the doors, I simply glue a small scrap of plywood onto the door. Nothing fancy, just something to grip onto. So my original thought for the video was to end it here, and then build a couple different tool hangers when I got around to them, and post a video with X amount of tool hangers. I built and recorded the hammer rack, then got distracted with something, and one night I was actually on my way out of the shop when the light bulb went off, and I realized that three things I use with nearly every tool I use needed a home, so I simply threw in a couple screws to hang my safety glasses, respirator, and hearing protection on the door. I also decided it would be a good idea to hang the wrenches I use to change router bits and saw blades on the other door, since this way they would all be handy and I don't have to be digging in my wrench drawer. So, on that note, Thank you guys for watching, and if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe for more. I hope to see you in the next video, and have a good one. It's November now. I'll probably be wearing my coat and stuff for voiceovers for the next little while, so yeah. Enjoy!